In this example, we're going to apply the concept of a particle in a rigid box to a molecule moving in some region of space. So, suppose a water molecule is confined to a one-dimensional region of width given by one millimeter. So, if we treat the water molecule as a particle inside a rigid box, in part A, we want to find the energy of the molecule when it is in the ground state and in part B, using the principle of equal partition of energy, we want to determine the quantum number of the water, water molecule at a temperature of 310 Kelvin. So let's begin with part A. So because we're basically treating our water molecule as if it was moving within a rigid box that has a width of one millimeter, we can apply the following equation that gives us the energy of our particle, of our water molecule, for some particular quantum number n, for some mass m, and for some width given by L, where h is Planck's constant. Now, because it tells us that the water molecule is in fact in the ground state, that means the quantum number n of our water molecule is equal to 1. Now, to find the mass of the water molecule, we basically take the mass of our water in grams per mole and we divide that by Avogadro's number. And then we take that and multiply that by one kilogram in 1,000 grams. So the grams will cancel, the moles will cancel, and we're left with about 2.99 times 10 to negative 26 kilograms. So this is the mass of a single water molecule in kilograms. So now we are ready to apply this equation. The energy of our water molecule in the ground state is equal to the square of Planck's constant divided by 8 multiplied by the mass of the water molecule in kilograms multiplied by the square of the width of our rigid box, the region along which our water molecule is moving on. So we divide and we get about 1.84 times 10 to negative 36 joules of energy, which is equivalent to about 1.15 times 10 to negative 15 electron volts. So this is basically the lowest amount of energy that is found in our water molecule when it's moving within this confined region of space. So next we move on to part B. So now we want to apply the principle of equal partition of energy to determine the quantum number of the water molecule at a temperature of 310 Kelvin. So, basically, according to the principle of equal partition of energy, the average thermal energy of a single molecule is given by this equation. So, K multiplied by T divided by 2, where K is the Boltzmann constant and T is the temperature given in Kelvins. So the Boltzmann constant is given by 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 meters squared multiplied by kilograms divided by second squared multiplied by Kelvins. And we multiply that constant by the temperature given in Kelvin, so 310 Kelvins, and we divide that by a factor of 2. And we get about 2.139 times 10 to negative 21 joules. So now we know the energy that our water molecule has at a temperature of 310 Kelvins. So now we apply this equation to basically determine what our quantum number is. So the energy of our water molecule at some fixed width given by this quantity is equal to n squared multiplied by the energy of that 
same water molecule at a quantum number of n equals 1. So we found what E1 is in part A, and we know what En is. That's given by this value. So now we solve for n the quantum number, and we see that n is equal to the square root of En divided by E1. So En is equal to this quantity, and E1 is equal to this value. So we divide, take the square root, and we get a quantum number of about 3.41 times 10 to the 7. So this is the quantum number of our water molecule that has an energy given by this quantity, where the lowest possible energy of that particle at a quantum number of n equals 1 is given by this quantity. So we see that the concept of the particle in a rigid box can be very useful in making calculations on the subatomic and atomic levels.